So today's photo essay is from a photographer named Brian Adams. Um, Brian Adams lives and works in Anchorage, Alaska. Um, his kind of big first big project was called uh, I Am Alaskan, in which he kind of studied all of the different racial diversity uh, that kind of lives within the borders of Alaska, and um, and he's following that up currently with a project called I Am Inuit. Um, and as part of this project, he is not only traveling through Alaska, but also um, a lot of other kind of circumpolar nations where he is investigating through his photography all of the Inuit people of the world. Um, and by doing so, he's connecting with a part of his own past and his own heritage in a way that he had not done previously. And one of the interesting things that comes out of it, I think, is that he realizes um, while he's doing this study uh, that, you know, no matter, almost no matter where he is in the world, um, there is an instant connection between uh, all of the different Inuit people, even if they are kind of separated from other Inuit cultures by geography or time or language, there is a permanent, unbreakable bond that these people share, even if they never met each other before. And it's kind of something that they feel instantly and something that um, bonds them all together. So one of the things that I love about uh, this photo essay is that, um, and there are many more photos on his website, um, which you can Google, uh, but, you know, if you go back to the 1940s and 1950s, 
Um, this is the time in which the photo essay was created. You know, a time when people got their stories, got their news from magazines and the newspaper. And the big magazines were Time Magazine and Life Magazine, and, you know, among others. But um, the photo essay, as we know it today, is really something that was an, an art form that was um, refined by a photographer named W. Eugene Smith. And we will certainly talk about him as our conversations about photo essays continue. Um, and W. Eugene Smith is perhaps best known as the forefather of the photo essay while he spent time making work for Time Magazine and Life Magazine. And so essentially, um, these are long form stories um, and there's certainly a written component to them. Um, but also um, the images are, are kind of part of what tell the story. And for many people, um, it, it gave you glimpses of a life that you would never in a million years have probably experienced yourself. Some of W. Eugene Smith's most famous photo essays are, um, one was uh, The Country Doctor, in which he kind of embedded himself with this rural doctor that, you know, serviced these rural towns. Um, and uh, Spanish Village, when he went to Spain and he spent some time living with these kind of people who had this very traditional lifestyle in this in this village in the in the Spanish countryside, um, and ma many more. So you know, sitting in your home in the suburbs, you know, reading your your new issue of Life or Time magazine, it would have been the first time at which you had um, gotten a glimpse of this existence that was totally different from your own, and and some of that power comes through. On, on this in this Brian Adams work because um, uh, it's such a humanistic approach to documentation. You really uh, connect with these people in some way. Um, and the other thing that I love about it too, and it's another thing to keep in mind when thinking about what makes a photo essay great, is that um, there's a lot of different types of photography in this project. There's portraits. There's landscapes, um, still life. Uh, almost any genre of photography you could think of is present here. And that's part of what makes it great. If it was just a portrait project, uh, you'd come away with it with kind of like a feeling about the people um, and maybe something about their emotions or, um, you know, something like that. Uh, if it was just landscape, then you'd you'd be thinking about you know, these wide open spaces in Alaska and these other polar regions um, and the majesty of nature. And um, But it's not. It's it's all of those things together. And, and that's part of what makes it great because you, you, you kind of feel for the people and you understand their location and the setting and how the setting informs their way of life and how they make a living. And uh, it, it really is, is kind of like social documentation um, that's more than just about the people. It's about their way of life. Uh, so um, I'd love to hear your thoughts if you if you have any. Um, I, I really enjoyed hearing your responses to the last photo essay. You had some really interesting things to say. Um, and uh, so if you if you connect with this, if there's any responses that you have, please feel free to email me. Um, and uh, and uh, you know, yeah. Hope you guys are doing good. Stay safe.